They say that numbers do not lie. Data analytics demand is on the rise and soon it will be an integral part of every other organization and everything we do. Don't just go with my words. Decide yourself once I am done with telling you the top 10 reasons of why you should learn data science. This should give you a much clearer idea of the importance of this field in the future. So hello and welcome all to this Edureka's Europe session. Here I am Atul and I'll be telling you about the top 10 reasons of why you should learn and make data science as your career choice. So starting with number 10, we have big data explosion. They say that we are living in the age of information. The internet has made it easy for anyone to gather whatever information they want to get. Did you know that you could even learn how to build your own plane or a car just online? You can think of it in a way that what was only available to those who could afford hi-fi education is now available to anyone who could get an internet connection. Now it's totally on you that how you are going to use this tremendous amount of data to your benefit. Now if you want to succeed in this world, you must study the trends by looking at the analytical data available. You can determine different ways through which you can make a good moves to achieve positive result. Do You know what happens within an internet minute? Well, 1.3 millions of YouTube views or 30 hours of video are uploaded on YouTube. Google gets more than 2 million of search queries. Facebook receives around 277,000 login requests and around 6 millions of Facebook views. On a higher level, you can say that we have around 639,000 GBs of global IP data which are being transferred in every single minute. Just imagine how big the size of the data is and how much insights you can gain out of such tremendous amount of data. But if you want to gain insights of your data, you first need to learn data science. So on number nine, we have priority for top organization. Everything depends on data. Doesn't matter if it is a big multinationals or a small business. All great minds use this data to formulate better strategies for the future of their companies. Many organizations have already started using data science for them. Let's look at few of them. Starting with Google. When we speak of search within Google, but there are many other search engines like Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, etc. All of these search engines, including Google, make use of data science algorithm to deliver the best result for the search query in fractions of a second. Let me tell you a fact. Google processes more than 20 petabytes of data every day. If there had been no data science, Google wouldn't have been the Google we know today. Or do you know Google has a new feature where you can upload an image and search images which are similar to it. It uses the image recognition and provides related search results. Even the famous recommender system, every one of you must have used Netflix for watching movies or TV series. But have you noticed that Netflix generates a recommended list of movies for you? How does it does that? Well, this is also done by data science. Similarly, who can forget the suggestions from Amazon about similar products? Various companies have passionately used the system to promote their products in accordance with the user's internet and relevance of information. Internet giants like Netflix, Twitter, Google Play, LinkedIn, IMDb, and many more uses the system to improve their user experience. The recommendations are made based on previous search results for a user. So next we have Amazon Alexa. Just say it and it will play it for you. Alexa is using a powerful data science engine to act on what you say. Next on number eight, we have the code of decision making. Now that you know how important it is to the company, just imagine how would you feel being at the center of all that rage. Imagine being the person they turn to before they make any major business decision. That is exactly who you will be when you learn data science and big data analytics. You will be at the core of decision making in the company. One of the leading causes of job dissatisfaction is that most of the employees feel that they do not have any decision making power. They often feel neglected when it comes to important decision making in the company. But don't worry, as a data analytics professional, you will be at the core of decision making in your company. In fact, you will be the integral part of major business decisions and future strategies. It would give you an important role and purpose within the organization. So moving on ahead on number seven, we have AI is the future. When it comes to technology, we are moving at an unimaginable speed. Now we have more power in our pockets than we used to have in our homes in early 90s. Let's see some of the concepts of AI of how it might change the science fiction into reality and affect us in the future. So the first comes the automated transportation. We have already seen the beginnings of self-driving car. Very soon we'll live in the era of it. 
when the roads will be full of safer driverless cars and you just have to sit in it and just enter your destination the car on the autopilot mode or the self-driving mode will take you to your destination various popular companies like uber tesla google they have already brought the self-driving intelligent beast on the road but still when it comes to perfection the companies are still trying to achieve it ask yourself do you want to be a part of such innovation if yes go and learn data science next is robots taking over the dangerous jobs Robots are already taking over some of the most hazardous job available which even include bomb defusing Technically you can say that these drones require a human to control it rather than using AI Regardless of their classification. They have saved thousands of lives just by taking over one of the most dangerous jobs in the world So here's your opportunity You can learn data science and improve this technology with AI integration to help these machine to work on their own There are other jobs too, which can be reconsidered for a robot integration for example welding well known for producing toxic substances intense heat and ear splitting noise it can also be outsourced to robots so the next point is robots as a companion have you ever watched the movie ex machina who wouldn't want a such ai friend like him well at this stage most robots are still emotionless and it's hard to picture a robot where you could actually relate to a japanese company in the year 2014 have introduced a robot named pepper this robot went on sale in the year 2015 with its initial 1000 units being sold within a minute Pepper was programmed to read human emotions develop its own emotions and help its human friends stay happy If you know data science who knows in future you can even get a chance to work with such companies to create more sophisticated and more responsive robots So moving on ahead on number six we have multiple job designation in the companies once you become a data science analyst, you have an ample amount of opportunities that you can use it to get yourself a brighter future. So here's a list of titles that you can apply for in any renowned companies and organization with vacancies. So we have data scientists, metrics and analyst specialist, data analyst, big data engineer, and data analytics consultant. Companies such as IBM, Oracle, Google, Amazon, Facebook, etc. are in need of data science analyst. All right, so uh, just to ensure the concreteness of my point in one of the Forbes article it mentioned that IBM predicts that the demand for data scientists will soar 28% by 2020 even the jobs requiring machine learning skills are paying an average of around $114,000 per year and the advertised data scientist jobs pays an average of $105,000 per annum and advertised data engineering jobs pay an average of $117,000 per annum so this was all about the multiple job designation Okay, so on number five we have start your own startups The ultimate goal of data science is to extract knowledge or insights from the data to inform and improve decision making So the easiest way to go after a startup ideas related to data science is to think of fields or industries Where poorly informed decisions are currently being taken due to the lack of better alternatives just for an idea you can start data monetization business the business executives knows the value of data and as the world continues to be instrumented with sensors and real-time analytics data will continue to be a booming business perhaps the most obvious way to monetize the data is simply to sell it to other organization which are in need of organized and insightful data for such businesses you need to embed the data along with a tool for analyzing it in the products and services they sell well, this was just an idea. Once you learn data science, you can start your own startup with your own idea. So let's proceed. All right, on number four, we have business optimization. There are a number of ways of how you could use data science in your business to manage your data science project efficiently and have them deliver real value to your business. You should have some good overview of what data science can help you with and how. Let's see some of them. The first being increasing the number of customers. There are two things that affect the number of customers. The first new customers coming in and the next the existing customers leaving out. So first let's see how you could prevent our existing customers from leaving out. For this you can collect the customers data like who they are what they bought how they interacted with the products or services sold to them to the fact that they later churned out or not. Then for each current customers we look at the likelihood of predicted churn and how valuable the customer is. Then we take some action to prevent the most valuable customers to churn out next is acquiring new customers for that We have something known as lead scoring. You don't need to be confused about that lead scoring is nothing But mapping the customers to revenue in order to predict the revenue which uh, you could get from a new customer All right, the next point is serving the customers better and efficiently 
So how can we do that? So for this we have cross-selling products now What is that? Well cross-selling product is mapping customer product pairs to purchase indicator That is whatever was recorded in the historical data so that we know whom to target when we are launching a new product or when promoting an existing one Next is increasing engagement. We observe customer behavior when presented items in order to map the customer item pairs to interest indicators. We can predict the needs and interest and take them into account in the service provided to the customer. All right, this way you can increase the engagement of the customer. So moving on ahead on the third we have ease of job hunting. As companies begin to realize that they have no capacity to comprehensively gather interpret and use data They are beginning to look for specialists who can do for them If you look at all the major job opportunities platform such as indeed Glassdoor, or freelancer You'll see that there are an increasing number of job posting that are looking for a data analyst and consultants The demand for professionals with this particular skill set is on the rise while the supply remains low This create a great job opportunity for individuals within this field you can see the snapshot from the classdo.com which shows that job of data scientist ranks on number one among the top 50 best jobs in America. The rankings are basically determined by three key factors. First, the number of job openings, next earning potential and career opportunity rating. With a median base salary of $110,000 and 4184 job openings, those who have chosen it as a career path look like they're onto a winner. Data science also opens the door for freelancing opportunities. You can check them out over the freelancer website. These days people are looking towards diversifying fields to multiply their income through which they can find the hassle free work life balance. As everybody knows that data science is a matter of studying numbers trend and data in general, which increases your opportunity to become a well paid freelancer or consultant for some of the biggest firms in the world. So one of the biggest advantages of data science training or learning is that this kind of job can be done from anywhere in the world at any given point of time, which is the biggest concern of most of the people today. All right, so next on number two, we have cost cutting technology. You can optimize the cost to your company very effectively using the data science. Data analytics can mainly be used to identify the inefficiencies. Most inefficiencies can be removed by applying automation. Sometimes you can use machine learning and interactimize beyond what you can achieve with automation alone But that's somewhat of an exception to the rule You have to be really creative to identify those opportunities as a rule analytics and machine learning is used to provide insights not to take actions All right once you learn data science you can also reduce the overhead cost It will increase the individual productivity with the need of fewer staff members and less equipments So at last but not the least we have the increasing pay huge pay for data science analytics professional is a plus point in this kind of industry demand increases and since the supply remains low this factor makes data analytics professional a huge bonus in terms of money if we look in there we find that data science analytics professional are paid on average 50 percent more than their counterparts in other it based profession you can see the snapshot from the spayscale.com where it says that a data scientist earns an average salary of around 6 lakh per year. Experience strongly influences income from this job. The highest paying skill associated with this job are data mining, data warehousing, machine learning, Java, Apache Hadoop and Python. All right. So in the near future data science would dominate in every other industry, not only in computer science, but also in the field of healthcare, finance, retails and public sector. It may reach out to an extent where a data science team is the most critical team for your business strategies. So thank you folks. This was all for this session. In case you have any query, add your doubt to the comment section. Thank you.